Hello and welcome How back to Fallout 3. Going? If you're still loaders into the demand, high load versus Arbinger, Spiffening, level 22, boxes, man, and cutest spike to this 13 and the round neutral guy. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? Oh, uh. I haven't been to Minefield yet, hold on. It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines do. Oh boy, do they. And that's what we need to study. I was actually more curious about... Can I ask about your work and how my research fits into it? Sure thing, I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Uh, what do you do here? Why, I'm an inventor, a tinkerer, and a general genius of junk. One person's junk is another's treasure, you know. And traders bring in lots of junk, so I get dibs on anything particularly nifty. Sure, I don't have as much to sell, but it's more fun this way. Um, I'm looking to buy some things for my house. Of I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. I think for my character... Some people don't like living in a boring old house. Purchase a theme from me and I use all of my design abilities to set your place up in the manner you request. You can choose from the Vault, Raider, Wasteland Explorer, Science, Love Machine, or Pre-War Themes. Yeah, I think science is the best for this character. I checked the wiki on screenshots of what each team looks like. And honestly, this is the one that calls to me the most. So, let's go with science. You're the intellectual type, eh? Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. That yeah, sounds good. Well then, let's make a deal. Wait, where are these teams? And how expensive are they? I didn't see the teams earlier, did I? Ah, yeah, I did. Scientist team. That's kind of very, very expensive. And I don't have the money for that. I don't at all have the money for that. Never mind. I really don't remember what else I wanted to talk to her about, so I'm just going to go on my way. Starting Evening. with... Uh -huh. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Craterside Supply can help you. Watch out, though. She is dangerous, Dad not different. Not uh huh. That's the men's restroom, still. Can I do for you? Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, who's Maggie? I think I met Maggie. Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Know anything about the area outside, Megathon? All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Huh. What can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Hmm. <laughs> what do you do around here? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. 
I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. Mm -hmm. What's the word around town? People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Nope. I helped fix it for now. Easy, man. Right. That's... Yeah, what the hell do you want? Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. All right, then. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. My dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped, oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Hmm. Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. That is reasonable. All right. Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old dad, he went southeast into DC to the Galaxy News radio station. Uh, good luck now. I also want to ask about his other finding things. Finding dear old dad? Can't say it surprises me. Wasteland's a big place. Maybe you need a drink. Hmm. What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing. She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Huh. What do you do around here? I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. Sounds fair, indeed. What can you tell me about Megaton? Stay the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Fair enough. Know anything about the area outside, Megaton? The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Because I've been here for four episodes. No. Almost four. Three. This is the third episode in the city itself. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. 
Three dog. The king of that loony bin keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. What is, was it you said about my father again? It's like I said, kid. Your dad was here for a bit but didn't stay long. Said he was going to the Galaxy News radio station, southeast in DC. Okay, thank you. I have to go now. I await our next meeting with bated breath. I'm going to check the saloon as well. Ah, uh, a you piece eh? of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Wait, is that? Damn it! Son of a bitch! Stupid radio. Guess I have to go fix that. A traveler, eh? Work. Yes. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. Oh, thanks. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Thank you. Uh, can you give me some information about Aravu? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is Aravu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Do you suspect your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Who else lives in Arafu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Uh huh. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Alright, let me ask you about something else. Okay. Particularly that I have to go now. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. I'll it put it in the garbage. Don't worry. Ah, Mr. Gob. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? I had a plan on it. Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Ooh. Excellent. Where did you come from? Where will you go? Where did you come from? Got an gob. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in DC. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune, and, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Okay. What's all this about Galaxy News Station right here? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. Alright, how about the drink? Anything for you, friend. Ooh, that's a much better price than usual. Ah, oh, let me just do that. Alright, now I've sold all my drugs. See you soon, drunkie. Goodbye. Don't hit me! I wasn't planning to... No one? Yeah. What's the story of that cool? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he look, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. 
Why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. The gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know. Where did he come from? He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. <laughs> Let's ask about something else, Doc. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? What were you saying about radio stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Hmm. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Alright, I'm looking for my father, Midrash Kai. Maybe you've seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm. Look, if you can give me more information or point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Yeah, he Talk already to did. Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. It's too late for that now. I have to go now. Take care of yourself, hon. Maybe I should have tried that. Hmm. Information I got. But it'll cost you. I do believe that my business in this city has now concluded for now. And I will in fact go out. Local cult. Sure. Even they think of themselves as a cult. Instead of a valid religion or something. Well. Cults don't... Cults are usually associated with, you know... With something... Welcome to Megaton. Invalid. Please stand clear. And such, or I don't even know. Never mind that. They can label themselves as a cult if they want to. None of my beeswax business. Um, how do I map again? Data world map. Where do I want to go? That's Great Itch. That's Vault 101. That's Super Duper Mart, which I've been to. There's GNR Building Plaza. There is Riverboat Landing, there's Rivet City. Nothing in that direction that I know of. There's Arifu. Festa Ruins, a Minefield, Canterbury Commons. Where is Galaxy News Radio? I'm serious, where is Galaxy News Radio? Minefield is pretty far into that place there. So I suppose I'll go check out Greyditch, because that's the closest destination right now. So... Greyditch, Greyditch, Greyditch... Those... Runky. Ah, right. Sometimes I feel that maybe I should... Repair my equipment or have it repaired anyway. Hello. Please. Welcome water. To Help me. Megan. I have water. Oh, thank God. Someone new. I need water, please. Water. What is this place? Some kind of city? It's Megaton. 
If you've been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. Lenny, what to do? I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't have any water to give you. Oh, please, if you find some, please. Done. I will be impressed if you will still be alive by the time I find some. So on that, this, on that note, if you are still alive by the time I find some, I might even give you some. Though you are a long way behind, so I'm just talking to myself. But that's what solo let's play us do. Exactly. Yeah, so that's towards the Lincoln Memorial thingy. Cool. I can work with that. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.